You also talk about how successful CEOs have mastered the art of relationships and influence to get the job done. What does this entail? Well, the first thing that surprised us is, you know, when you think about CEOs who are really great at managing relationships, you often think of this charismatic extrovert that just, you know, at the drop of the hat gets crowds to follow them. Um, what we did is we looked behind the scenes as what, at what really um, enabled CEOs to be effective at relationship management, and we found actually it's not inspired charisma as much as it's deliberate routines. They're very, and it's not so much about them being um, charismatic on stage, but it's actually much more about them understanding their audience. Um, and what was really cool about that is that, you know, we can't affect whether we're introverts or extroverts. Things that we've uncovered from the CEOs, the practices and the routines they use, anybody can learn. And so we were really excited about that. Um, so um, to give you one example, actually, of something that's really simple that anybody can do, and you'd never think of that as a good kind of relationship or career hack, is we all think about mentorship as being really important. And we all think about, you know, we need powerful mentors to help us advance in life, to help us give opportunities. When, when we looked at the CEO candidates, we actually found that the most successful candidates were not necessarily those who had powerful mentors themselves, although many did, but that's really a hard way to stand out. What set apart the most successful CEOs was that they were really good mentors to others very early in their career. And so if you think about building relationships and being an effective influencer as all about understanding others, there's no better way and no cheaper, more accessible, and a great way to do that than actually seeking out others to mentor um, as, a, as a way to build your CEO skills. So I th we thought that was surprising because that's typically traditional career advice is all about you, know, you getting a mentor as opposed to you giving it to others. And then um, the other part um, that I would offer is back to this, it's not so much of inspired charisma, although that helps, as much as it is deliberate routines, you know, we share lots of examples of routines that different CEOs use to communicate. You know, one of them talks about um, anything I want to communicate, I say in seven times in seven modalities, in seven different ways. I may blog it, I may say it at a, at a town hall, I may send it out in an email. But just realizing that relationships and followership is as much about the drumbeat of communication uh, and just being prepared to do it rep repeatedly and relentlessly.